A lot I want to do in this video. Uh, I want to tell you about where I've been. I want to tell you about the Bulgaria event that's coming up. And then we're going to get into some Excel stuff. I recently got back from a 35 day road trip around the US. I went from Portland, Oregon down to Reno, Nevada, Las Vegas, Denver, Chicago, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Vicksburg, Mississippi, New Orleans, Wilcox, Arizona, Tombstone, Arizona, Flagstaff, back to Las Vegas, back to Reno, and a whole lot of cities in between, and eventually back home. I did not expect to be gone 35 days. I had a blast and talked with all kinds of great people and I can't wait to get back out on the road to go meet more people and see some more of this country. And I've got to tell you about Excel Days in Sofia, Bulgaria, and I hope you get yourself there. It's the 11th of November, and the 11th is the all day event. And then two days before and two days after, there are gonna be uh, master classes. And who are some of the speakers? It is just out of hand. I'll be there. Who else will be there? Chandu is coming from New Zealand, and he's driving to Australia to pick up Tim Hang. Then the two of them are driving where? To Brazil, to Sao Paulo, to pick up Cristiano Galvão. Wow. And that's just the Southern Hemisphere. Man, it's, it's, you know, we got Jordan Goldmeyer. We got the statesman, Charles Williams, coming from the UK. John Peltier. Mikhail Matiev from Bulgaria. Gaspar Comanche from Slovenia, the host Bordiana Petrova from Bulgaria, she will be there. And who else do we have? Alan, hello everyone, Murray. And last but not least, Faraz Sheikh. My gosh, I tell you what, you are gonna need some sponges and rags so that you can soak up all of this Excel knowledge that's gonna be spilling and oozing and dripping all over everything. You gotta get all of it. Let's get into some Excel. It's unbelievable that this did not come up until now. Power Query has been out for a while and only recently have I had to deal with case sensitivity. Here we go. In column B, I have a list of items. And then over in column F, I already have a query where we're gonna do some sorting. So now watch this. I'm gonna put my cursor in that data set and then data tab, Sorted, ascending, look at that. Everything is cool. Now let's go into Power Query. Go over to the items query. I'm gonna double click it. All right, let's zoom in a bit. Okay, now cursor in the data set and sort. Look at this. Double A batteries is on top, right. Bag blue, bag red is down here. Chicago Bears jersey cufflinks. All right, so we got cigar cutter, cigar lighter. So you see what's happening. All of the lowercase stuff is down here on the bottom and the uppercase is on top. Now, what can we do? One thing we can do is add a column with all of these in uppercase and then sort by the uppercase and then get rid of the uppercase column and then we'll be back to this one column sorted the way that we expected. 
But let me show you another way. In this formula, I'm going to type each text dot upper open parentheses, get rid of this double quote and then put in a square bracket, go to the end, get rid of that double quote, close the square brackets, close the parentheses and enter. Now, how did this sort? Okay. Yes, we got toothbrush, toothpaste at the bottom. We have Bluetooth speaker with the lowercase b and then the Bluetooth earpiece with the capital B. Everything is sorted the way that we would expect. Great, so now I can close and load. Now let's look at what's happening in the background. I'm gonna open this up, unhide. Okay, so here's what's happening. In Excel on a worksheet, here I have these letters. And then over here, I'm using the code function, equals code, and then the H4 there. That is giving us the code in the background. And so if I sort this column ascending, I get what we would expect. But then if I go over here and sort this column, that gives us some insight into what Power Query does when it's doing sorting. And you can see the lowercase a, c, j, q, z, they're all on the bottom and separate. The capital Z and the lowercase z are apart. Let's look at one more case sensitivity issue. I want to thank Ed Hansberry for a blog post that gave me some insight into this. This is a big deal because of names like mine. Du Soleil, lowercase d-u space capital S-O-L-E-I-L. -E but then there will be online forms and other systems that will force a capital D, lowercase u, space, capital S. Look at this. We've got Daniel, lowercase d, apostrophe, capital A. And then there's Daniel with a capital D. Then there is right, and then a right in all caps. So what if you are in a situation like this where in the preferred name column, this is where we're saying that people want their name spelled. Yes, DeSoto wants a capital D. Dubois wants a lowercase d. But then the source data in columns F and G are something else. It's what the system put or somebody else typed this stuff in. I've got the names query and the cars query already. Let's do it this way first. Let's do it the nasty way. Combine queries and then merge. Uh, names and cars. Let's do a, yeah, let's do a full outer join. Match up name and preferred name. Okay. And then expand, don't want that. And then, okay, let's boost this up for the people who forgot their glasses. We've got all caps Martinson was not matched up with Martinson. Scroll down, look at this. Mayor Smith is not matched. Here's what we're gonna do. I am gonna go to source. All right, so we're back to this dialogue. And again, thanks to Ed Hansberry for this. We'll go to use fuzzy matching. Expand. Scroll down. Ignore case. Also, 
put this at a similarity threshold of one. Okay. All right. Let's see what's happening. Expand. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to insert that. I don't care. Let's get rid of this one. Ooh, look at this. Daniel is matched up. Martinson, Mayor Smith, Wright. Everything is lined up. And that's how you would do a merge and ignore the case sensitivity. We're done here. And hopefully I will see you in Bulgaria with your sponges and rags, or maybe I will see you on my next road trip.